Hello, it's Ruby, and today I am going to be doing another readathon. So it's currently 8:30, and I meant to wake up at like 6:30, and I did wake up at 6:30, but then I accidentally went back to sleep, which was very silly and. I'm very annoyed because I was meant to start at 6.30, but 8.30 now, I feel very well rested. I haven't woken up this uh, not tired for a long time. Today, I'm going to be doing a 12-hour readathon, so I'm going to be seeing how many books I can read in 12 hours, and I am pretty excited. So the first thing we're going to do is choose the books that I'm going to read today. Up here is my TBR pile. now 9.52 and I have just finished The Disappearing Girl. This was a book of bulimia, a YA book. Hey! Um, and it wasn't very good. Like, I would probably give this one and a half stars, if that, maybe even one. Uh, I just didn't enjoy reading it and I thought it was very cliche. It was mainly focused on a relationship, the protagonist and her boyfriend, and in YA novels I know that a lot of relationships are very cliche, but this was just so cliche that it really frustrated me and I don't know I just didn't think it was that original a story I didn't really like it but book one down and now I'm going to choose my second book <laughs> So I just finished Slaughterhouse 5 and this is a book that I have wanted to read for a while or at least try again because I tried reading Slaughterhouse 5 when I was in year 8 or 9 and I really didn't like it. I read the first few pages and just didn't get on with it so I put it down and I, I didn't pick it back up until just today. But it was wonderful. The narrative is quite strange. The first two chapters are kind of the author deliberating what to write and then he says that he's going to write the story. Basically, he it's very strange. He's abducted by these Martians, the Tralfamadorians. He's taught this new way of approaching and thinking about time. And he is able to time travel, basically. And it's just a really cool insight into what it means to tell stories. And offers this really unique way of looking at time through the perspective of this non-human race. This was really good, I really liked it. This might even make its way onto my favorite shelf. I really liked it. So then after that, I just wrote a quick half page of notes in this notebook because I'm trying to reflect more on the books I read and encourage myself to think deeply about them as opposed to just reading them for pleasure, uh, which I do have a tendency to do. And I will think about the book a lot whilst I'm reading it, but I won't write down any of those thoughts. So after that I went and got myself some lunch as well, as you can see I had soup and I also had some falafel and rice cakes and hummus and I just love these kinds of picky lunches and as you can see I'm reading All Souls here.
Okay, so as I said, I'm reading All Souls at the moment, Javier Marias, and it's really good. It's set in Oxford. It's not very long, as you can see, it's only like 200 pages, and I'm already on page 50. Please kindly enjoy the smooth jazz as you watch me read. So I just set up base next to the fire because it was really cold today actually, no one would think it was July. Um, I am not complaining though, it felt like autumn and I was having the best time. Okay, it's currently 10 past 2 and I'm only 100 pages into All, All Souls. This is taking me a lot longer than I thought it would, mainly because the language is pretty dense. I'm having to read it more slowly than usual to like properly appreciate it. Beautifully observational, like I love observational writing. It jumps between his time in Oxford and then later in his life when he's in Madrid. Okay, I have just had this very exciting parcel come. So this parcel was kindly gifted to me from Nadia Mary Florence denim on Etsy and I will leave this link down below but she is so talented oh my gosh this is just beautiful there is an Emily Dickinson she's painted Emily Dickinson on the back Emily Dickinson is my favorite poet I am just I am shocked I didn't know it would look this amazing and there are quotes on it too quite a lot of focus like I feel quite drained after reading that even though um, I did really like it. Can you see that rain? I'm not sure if you can actually see it but it's raining. reading on the sofa now. Mum's reading. So good. I really want to read that after you. I can't wait to. And I am reading Midget by Tim Bowler. It's five to six and I have just finished the fourth book which is Midget. Next I'm going to read Mockingjay. So I read the first two Hunger Games books when I was near nine but I started Mockingjay and I didn't like it so I didn't finish it but I have been meaning to finish it. I feel like I need to so this is the next book I'm going to be reading. Rain is by far my favourite weather. So I'm really lucky that I live where I do because England is notoriously rainy and I don't have any qualm with that whatsoever. Do I want to come outside and read? Maybe I'll go up into the tree house and read. Oh my gosh, yes. It's 20 to 7 and I'm on page 60 of Mockingjay. I have got to say I am enjoying it just as little as I did 
when I first started it. I really liked the first Hunger Games book and the second, but the first 50 pages have just been full of exposition. I'm just hoping that it will get better. It's 10 to 8 and I'm on page 195 of Mockingjay. It is definitely getting better. Now I'm going to go have some dinner my mum has made and yeah, I will get back to reading that after. After mass of dinner, and someone skulking around the leftovers. I've just refilled my mug with hot water to make the most of that tea because this is like my favourite tea. Plan of action, I'm going to get into bed and read in bed. So I've got 40 minutes until it's been 12 hours since I started the readathon, so let's see if I can get through Mockingjay. I don't think I will be able to, but. It's currently 9.45 and I overstepped this. I read five books. So the first book I read was Disappearing Girl, which I didn't really like. Then I read Slaughterhouse Five. I read All Souls. I read Midget. And finally, I read Mockingjay. Um, so thank you so much for watching this readathon. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you have a productive week.